hello everyone it's lola here again i welcome you all to my kitchen today i'm going to be showing you how to make jambalaya yes i know a lot of you know what jambalaya is but today we are going seafood actually i know a lot of you know that jambalaya when you want to make it you usually use um the sausage but today i'm not using sausages i feel like going seafood and my choice of seafood today is the scallops and the shrimps feel free to use any seafood you want to use it's all well and good so i'll show you how i make it so let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is to clean up my scallops and to do that is very easy. All you have to do is to first remove any attached muzzle you find on the scallops. These muzzles come attached with the scallops when you buy them. However, with some scallops, you are not going to find anyone. Maybe they've dropped off or something. So wherever you find them, just remove them. And once you are done removing all the muzzles, you can now rinse the scallops if you so wish. And one important thing you have to do is to dry them up. Make sure you dry them up with a paper towel or a clean kitchen towel so that there's no liquid lingering around the scallops. In that way, your seasoning can stick on them by the time you are ready to fry them. Return them back into the bowl then i'm going to be spicing them up actually um the seasoning you can put here varies depending on what you want but i just find it easy to put simple salt paprika and a little bit of chili flakes just for that heat you know so now i'm just going to get this mixed together Next is my shrimps. Like I told you, I'm going to be using shrimps as well. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just dry them up and I'll spice them and I'll season them up. Okay, so once everything is dried, I'm just going to be returning it back to my bowl. Here we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to also season this up. And just like I did the last time, I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt, some paprika, and some chili flakes. Oops. Now mix everything together. All right. I will also be setting this aside and I'm going to start cooking them right now. I'm going to start by adding about two and a half tablespoons of cooking oil inside my pan. Today I'm using coconut oil. However, you can use any type of oil you choose to. So the oil is now hot. I'm now going to be adding my shrimps. So after cooking the shrimps for about two minutes, I'm going to be flipping it to the other side and I'll be cooking that for another two minutes. So these are all done. I'll just be taking them out of the pan and I'll be setting them aside. So in the same pan I used for frying my shrimps, I'm going to be frying my scallops as well. And here I've added about three tablespoons of coconut oil. I'll also wait for that to get hot. Then I'll start frying my scallops. So this is pretty hot now. I will just be adding my scallops. I'll just cook this for about a minute and a half on each side till it's done. So 
so now this has been cooking for about a minute and a half and it's time to flip it and I will be cooking the other side too until it becomes golden brown so here we go our scallop is all done can you see this it's looking really beautiful I'll just be taking this out from the pan and I'll also be setting it aside. Here we go. We are done with this. Okay, so now I'm just dicing my bell peppers. Today I'm using three bell peppers, the red, the yellow and the green. However, you can just choose to use any type of bell peppers you want. I like to make my jambalaya colorful. That's why I chose these colors. It doesn't really matter what color you use. It's all well and good. Finally, I'm going to be dicing my onion. I'm using the white onion today. I'm crying. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm so crying. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Let's move on. Oops. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to be using like three stalks of celery today. I think that should be fine. Here we go. So I'll just set everything aside and we can combine everything together and make our jambalaya. So I'm going to be using the same pot I used for my shrimps and scallops to cook the vegetables. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit of oil again. Okay, so today I don't have my fresh garlic, but I always almost have, you know, this garlic paste at home so that's what I'm going to be using today garlic is very important for this recipe if you don't have the fresh garlic this is good so I'm going to be adding this first just about a tablespoon of that or thereabouts all right so I'll just stir this in Then I'll add all my other vegetables, my bell peppers, my celery, and my onions. So just continue to stir this and leave it to cook for about five to six minutes. But make sure you stir this occasionally just to prevent it from burning and so that everything can be evenly cooked. So now I'm just adding my bay leaves and my jalapeno peppers. You can use any chilies of your choice just to add a little bit of extra heat. Then I'm going to be adding some seasoning powder, Creole seasoning, about one tablespoon of that mix that together so one more thing I need to add is my thyme and voila that's our base for the jambalaya so I'll be pouring my sorted vegetables inside the baking pan So just add the crushed tomatoes and give it a good mix. Once that is well mixed together, I'm going to be adding my chicken stock. So here you can use basically any stock you want. You can use vegetable stock, but today I chose to use the chicken stock. And finally, I've got my rice. Today I'm using the basmati rice. Just 
mix that in make sure everything is well combined at this point feel free to taste the seasoning if everything is on point if there's a need to add one or two other seasoning this is the right time to do that So I just want to give this a quick taste. Perfect. It tastes so nice. So it's ready to go into the oven. Cover this with a foil paper and I'll be taking this to a 350 degrees preheated oven. And I'm going to be baking it for about 45 minutes to one hour or till the rice becomes really tender. So guys, here we go. Our jambalaya is ready. Let's see so hot looks so good oh. it smells so good in here <laughs> So the final thing I'll just do right now is just to add my shrimps and my scallops and I'll stir everything in. Okay. It's okay. So here we go guys. This is our oven baked jambalaya. You can actually cook this on the stove top if you want to. It takes about 20 minutes to get done. I've actually baked this for like 50 minutes. Yes, 50 minutes and it's all looking good right now. Here we go. Let me know what you think. <laughs> mm. oh, so nice. Really like seriously. Yes, yes, I love it. So, yeah. So guys, here we go. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you make this and I would like to know how it turns out for you. And by the way, all the detailed links to today's recipe can be found in the description box below. So let me know what you think about it whenever you make it. I'll be happy to hear from you. Until next time, enjoy. <laughs>